Huh? Y'all, believe it or not, I ain't social a lot. Nah, but um, I got a headache, bruh. I got a booming headache, bro. But guess what? I'm still gonna record on this Christmas Eve, bruh. This this weekend I haven't posted anything, but y'all, I have been I have been busy, bruh. I have been working on you know putting this music video together for uh for distractions. Black. Sorry. Okay. God damn it. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got excited. All right. The black of the berries, the sweet of the juice. Mm. Yeah. That shit, the truth. Bodily emotions, if you don't know, I'm doing a music. I'm doing a music video for distractions. It drops Christmas Day around noon. Around noonish. I'm going to premiere, so make sure y'all there at the premiere and y'all going, y'all turn up and everything. I got a few early Christmas presents, okay? I don't want any Christmas presents. I wasn't expecting any Christmas presents. I don't, well, obviously people are going to get Christmas presents, but I don't want any Christmas presents because I don't want anything for Christmas. I literally don't want anything for Christmas. But Danielle was not just about to just not give me anything for Christmas, even though I don't want anything. She got me this chair, bruh. She got me this nice ass chair. So there's a new chair. And my other chair is kind of... I think about death often. He's just lonely there with Kai's, Kai's clothes thrown on it. It's now a waste basket, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I still appreciate the memories, okay? But new, ye new year, new me, new chair. And you guys know what else I got? I know you guys are gonna like this one. I know you guys are really gonna like this one, okay? I see your halo is perfect. If heaven is real, you deserve it. I'll be in the dirt with the worms, and I hope that I turn to a bird, cause I fly to you. It's gonna hurt to say bye to you. Don't follow path that I lead, cause the path that I take make you. Yeah. So yeah, Danielle got me a new pair of headphones. I haven't opened the box yet. I think I'm gonna save it for 2019, you know. The first. The first day of videos, I think I'll, I'll think I'll save it for then, make it a glorious moment. But for now, still got my my trusty steeds. But yeah, like I said, I've been busy this weekend working on working on this music video, and I'm glad you guys did like the EP that I put out about all the emotions. It's on Spotify, uh, everything right now. You can go ahead and check it out. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're, today we're here with a new video. But before we get into that, go ahead and pass me the so we can get to today's paid promoted song. Let me get that. Take it like GMT, I slide in like DVD, yeah, they ain't never fuck with me. Now to come round, bitch, fuck your piece, OCD like whiskey neat, Lord, these snakes too close to me, yeah, six G's all I need, can you grab my wish to me? Itch in my head, making a mess, I don't need a lot to go through my dance, I don't need a lot to see through they mess, I'ma need a lot to get in my trance, yeah, she gon' follow trends, kissing up on her friends, she look like an ex, so I relive my past, and I ain't value for ya. Alright, what y'all think of that? Y'all can let me know down in the comments below. If y'all want to hear the full song, the link will be down in the description and in the comments below. So be sure to check that out. But today we are here with a new video. 21 Savage dropped an album. I'm not going to get a chance to react to the full album. <clears throat> but I will react to a song here. It's called A Lot. And I think this one features uh, J. Cole. And I'm interested to hear, you know, J. Cole and 21 Savage on a track together. It seems like J. Cole has really, has really welcomed, you know, the new school rappers, you know, the, 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 the new upcoming young rappers. Well, not upcoming. 21 Savage isn't really upcoming, but seeing him doing a track with 21 Savage is not something I really expected. I, I expect J. Cole and Blueface collab next. Yeah. All right. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and check this out. 21 Savage, a lot. I know, like I said, I know y'all want me to react to the album, but look, this has been a busy month, okay? I've been busy doing a lot of things. So I didn't really, I don't really have time to react to the full album, but I am gonna check out this song. Yeah. I can already see Lenar like doing a parody. Like when he was just doing that, yeah, ah. I just can see Lenar doing, you know, when 21's. 21 is rapping and like he's getting beat and he's like <laughs> Can anybody else see that or is it just me? How many lawyers you got? A lot. How many times you got shot? A lot. I'd rather be broke in jail than be dead and rich. He'd rather be broke in jail than be dead and rich. I don't know, bruh. Cuz I mean like that means if you was rich, you just you died rich. If you're in jail, you're just you're broken in jail. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I don't know, maybe there's a, you know, some people see see what he's talking about, but I'm just like, bruh, I'd rather be, I'd rather be just, you know, have the money and then I guess I die, but like, it's like, I cannot just be in jail, bruh. That ain't the way, bruh. 
This is a different, I'm not, I, this is something different I wouldn't expect 21 to be on. Girl, me and my dog, it was us, then you went and wrote a statement, and that really fucked me up. Mm. My brother got life, and it turned me to the streets, but the other side was sunny, I get paid to rap on beats. It seemed like 21 Savage really matured. I just seen a video or a clip somewhere where he was talking about, uh, why he doesn't wear his like jewelry anymore. So it seems like he's just really matured out of the whole slot of gang shit. It's a lot of gang shit. And then pretty soon, all of his fans are gonna be, is gonna, he's gonna get those type of fans that was like, oh, I miss the old 21 when he was always talking about murder gang and shit and murder gang this. Even though when that was happening, when he was talking about that, people were like, this is all he talks about is guns and killing people, blah, blah, blah. And now that he's gonna be talking about all this different stuff and actually things that have a message, people are gonna be like, uh, this shit corny, bro. I missed the old 21 that talked about slaughtering the grandmas and shit like that. How many niggas you shot a lot? How many times did you ride a lot? How many niggas did die? Just openly admitted that. Yeah. Oh! How many faking they streams? Getting they plays from machines? I can see behind the smoking members, niggas ain't really big as they seem. I am not even surprised by that because niggas is buying Instagram followers. Niggas are buying Instagram followers and Instagram likes to appear to be more bigger than they are, but it's to impress, you know, other people, which in, in turn gets them more type of deals and stuff like that, which is smart, you know, business wise. But at the same time, like niggas be having thousands, thousands and thousands of followers, but begin like minimal likes like it don't it don't match up. How do you have 10,000 likes? but you have three to 10 comments. Like that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if niggas are like boosting their streams. You know how, bruh, numbers is everything. Like numbers really define some people. And if the numbers aren't matching what people expect them to do, they'll, they kind of feel like they have fallen off. So like niggas will try to boost and enhance that type of shit, bruh. It's just all about, you know, visual rep representation because everything's done on the internet. So niggas, when they see you, they don't see you in person. They see you on the internet and just go off of that. So like immediately, if they see a nigga that's verified, they gonna be like, oh, this, this person must be doing something big. They must be doing something where they're like, why do you think there's niggas in the comments that'd be like, yo, selling ver verification badges for the low, like nigga, shit. I need one. <laughs> I've been trying to get verified for the longest, bro. I've been trying to get verified for the longest. So look, if you sell verification bags, hit me up. Psych nigga, stay on my DMs, bro. On the damn low. <laughs> on the damn low, stay on my DM, bro. Damn, don't ch chase a bag. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Everybody got their thing. Some niggas make millions. Other niggas make memes. Oh, wait, hold up. Tory Lane, Tory Lane said that on a, a, on a song. He said, I think niggas, I be making M's, they be making memes, I be making millions. <laughs> J. Cole is a biter, bro. Yo, Tory Lanez is about to beef with J. Cole now, bro. <laughs> if that were to happen, who do y'all think would win? Tory Lanez or J. Cole, bro? I'm not gonna lie, Tory Lanez is actually fire. And I think he won that whole Joyner Lucas thing, so like... I think he could probably out rap J. Cole if he wanted to, bro. I'm just saying, I don't know. I'm not a professional, bro. I'm not saying I'm not, like, trust me, I am not by by any means a Tory Lane's dick writer. Like, I didn't even know this nigga could really rap until this, that beef with Jordan Lucas was happening. So, but I'm just saying, I don't know. If they was really, if if, if Tory Lane's was really trying like he was when he was mad at <laughs> Jordan Lucas, I think he could out rap J. Cole. And I'm aware I've been playing a bet from a lack of promotions. I never was one for the bragging and boasting. I guess I was hoping the music would speak for itself, but the people want everything else. Nah, yes, I was hoping the music was like, cause he's just said he don't do like the promotions and stuff like that. He was hoping the music would speak for itself, but people don't want to hear that, bro. They don't care, bro. You gotta turn up. You gotta be ignorant on 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 World Star, bro. There are people. Take take long neck, long neck and, and wide neck, for example, bro. These guys got like three million views on their song in two days. More than the, the other artist who was really out here trying. All because they get posted on Bro Star Hip Hop doing ignorant stuff, bro. You gotta be, you gotta be ignorant. If you wanna make it in this game, if you wanna make it in the long run, you gotta be ignorant on the internet, bro. People don't care how how good your music is. Like there's, okay, yeah, there's some people that's gonna care and be like, yo, this is amazing, bro, it spoke to me. But then other people are gonna be like, bro, where are the bangers, bro? What is this, bro? I don't care. 
every one album, you know what the outcome will be. I'm betting a thousand, it's got to the point that these rappers don't even like rapping with me. Fuck it, come on, nigga, 21 Savage just hit me. I was about to say, my nigga, are you dissing 20? Like, are you low key coming at 21 Savage on his own song, bro? What are you doing? He called it a lot. I open my book and I jot. Pray for Takashi, they want in a rap. I picture him inside a cell on a cat. Wait, what? Pray for Takashi, they want in a rap. I picture him inside a cell on a cat. Flattening on how he made it to the top. Wondering if it was worth it or not. Pray for Takashi, they want in a rap. I picture him inside a cell on a cat. On how he made it to the top, wondering if it was worth it or not. Um, wondering if it was worth it, bro. That's probably what's going on in his head, bro. He's probably sitting in there, like, bro, I was just trolling, like, I wasn't really about this life, man. I mean, he, I feel like he was, like, he he was low key about it, but now he's playing like he, he he's not even a gang member, it was just all for music. Obviously, he's gonna say whatever he can to get out that situation that he's in, but. Bro, he had the world in his hand. Literally, every time he posted, millions of people would be watching it. Just cause this nigga was just, we, we was just like, why he was entertaining. So we was just watching what he said, like music aside. That's why I was saying like, you gotta act ignorant on on the internet and like people will love you. As soon as he got locked up, people was like, finally this, that, the, the, this, that, and the third. But like a week later, people be like, damn, Instagram been kind of dry without 6 9 bruh. I miss the ignorance. I miss that like, and he probably sitting there thinking like, damn, like was this really worth it? This man is like, isn't he, isn't he looking like like 30 years, bro? He probably sitting there like, bro, was this really even worth it? Like what I'm doing, was that even really worth it, bro? Tell your friends, call on a mission, submitting the spot is the greatest that did it before it all ends, nigga. Put a doubt a lot, left you out to rap a lot. Damn, 21 Savage, this this is a good song. I definitely still have to listen to the whole album. Like I said, I'm probably, why am I still not in my head, I don't know. I still have to listen to the full album. Like I said, I'm not. I'm probably not going to do a reaction to it. Like I'm already three days late on on the album anyway. So yeah, there's going to be a lot more albums to come. Trust me. I'm not done. I'm in heaven. Trust me. There's not a lot. There's not. The, what what was I trying to say, bruh? This man's really growing up. Of course, that is like the top comment, bruh. Pray for Takashi. He don't even be trying. I think people just be liking it just because they see the profile picture and they're used to the name at this point, bruh. He just said, yo, somebody was like. Somebody, I seen somebody actually mad at dad because he ke he keeps getting top comments. They was like, bro, save your comments for yourself. There's other people who deserve the likes. Like, nigga, they're likes. What do you mean deserve it? You act like he's getting paid to be top comments. Shut up. Niggas really get mad before, before over everything, bro. Oh, well, that was uh, a lot. 21 Savage, a lot. And he's actually like talking about some stuff. Like, like the stuff that he went to him, you know, why, why he had to be the savage he, he was or probably still is. But, uh... Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed the song. Of course, J. Cole brings a whole nother, you know, type of energy to the track and with the stuff that he's talking about. So, uh, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments below and what y'all think of the album. Uh, if y'all did enjoy my reaction to my commentary, hit that thumbs up. I will catch y'all in the next one. Bow. Say it in the comments back. Hello. Hello. I had fun playing with you guys. I'm not this bitch. If you know, I'm, I know. I, 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 I,